A massive open online course is an ecosystem from which knowledge can emerge. In a traditional course, you end up in a social contract with an institution or with an instructor. They have the knowledge and you want that knowledge. So you go to a classroom, you go to an online location, and you engage in this social contract where you go, you've purchased the time, and you will take home the knowledge. They'll judge whether or not you have the appropriate knowledge at the end of that course. In a lot of situations, that's really good. A MOOC is something entirely different. The knowledge contract in a MOOC does not presume that there's one thing that you need to know in a given field. The materials that we study that are part of the syllabus are really just a starting point for the negotiation of knowledge. The outcomes might be as varied as a discussion, a blog post, or a peer-reviewed article. Really, a MOOC is just a catalyst for knowledge. Knowledge in a MOOC is emergent. During those discussions between the participants and between the facilitators, themes are going to begin to emerge. Those themes are going to combine with the course materials to create a really unpredictable knowledge base from which people are going to learn and with which they're going to engage. For the participant in a MOOC, they're going to come out of the course with a far better idea of how their own knowledge matches up against others in the field. But more importantly, they're going to come out with a knowledge network, a network of people and ideas that's going to carry long past the end of that course date. For the field itself, it offers a focused discussion. That discussion may clarify points of debate, or it may push knowledge in that field to new and interesting places.